let's inspect the crankshaft. We want to inspect the crankshaft journals for any excessive wear, scoring, gouging, and anything else that deviates from a smooth, true surface. Looking at the rod journal, we also notice that there is a dark line running down the center of the journal. This dark line between the two rod, rod areas is typical of just a varnish built up from old oil. This is of no concern to us. This will come off when we clean the crankshaft. Inspecting this particular crankshaft visually, we see we have some very light radial scratches. These scratches are of no concern to us. They're too light to interfere with our job and will easily polish out with some memory cloth by hand or a competent machine shop can polish them for you with a belt unit. Consequently, we have another crankshaft here to show you what a damaged journal may look like. If we look closely at this rod journal, we can see very deep radial scratches and gouges. This resulted from a rod bearing failure. You can also get similar to wear to this on a lesser scale from just having excessive dirt in the engine. Either way, this rod journal or this entire crankshaft will have to be reground, welded and ground or replaced. As we look further around the journal, on this particular crankshaft, we can also see a discoloration in this area. This indicates that this journal got excessively hot. It's just another thing to look for when you're doing your visual inspection of the crankshaft. The thrust surface is the area of the crankshaft that actually keeps the engine, the crankshaft, from moving back and forth in the engine front to back. This journal is the one located next to the flywheel flange at the rear of the engine. Looking at these surfaces more closely, we have one that's toward the front of the crankshaft in this area, and another one that's at the rear of the journal in this area. Both these surfaces are critical in engine life. We must make sure that these two surfaces are not only undamaged, without any heavy scoring, scratching, cracking, or galling discoloration. If they aren't in really nice shape, the crankshaft has to either be repaired or replaced. If this area isn't in pristine condition when the engine goes back together, you will result in a bearing failure. 